Hey there everybody. <clears throat> Today we're going to clean out the bathtub drain. I know this is everybody's favorite chore at home, uh, but I thought I would share my, my way of doing it that I think is the easiest way to clean out a bath drain. Uh, it takes a few tools and a little patience and sometimes a strong stomach. So I have a utility knife, a screwdriver, uh, this is a, like a five-in-one type screwdriver. So I have a flexible plastic uh, drain clean tool. Uh, this gets down into the drain and gets the, the glob. Uh, a couple or a pair of rubber gloves and a plastic bag just to catch the crap. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with this utility knife and I'm going to use this to uh, cut the hair that is hanging over the cross piece inside the drain. And that'll allow it to go down into the drain where I can more easily pull it up. The way it is now, it gets kind of twisted and tangled and doesn't like to come up or go down. So I'm going to free it up so it can go down. Let's put on some gloves. Okay, we got a little bit of a superficial hair there. Um, and now comes the fun part. We're going to remove the remove the overflow cover and put our our little flexible snake down through there that'll go straight down into the trap and engage the blockage we're going to have to switch to a flathead screwdriver for the bracket Okay, this is where it is helpful to have a strong stomach. Uh, it gets pretty nasty behind the scenes, regardless of how clean you are. It can get pretty gross in the areas that are often covered and just go unseen. So, I won't be offended if you tune out. But I just push the the flexible snake down in. I push it down as far as I can, give it a turn. Whoop. And pull it up. Ew. So I'm going to put the snake back into the trap, run the water a little bit so it can push any hair that's in in the, uh, the tub drain down into the trap and lodge it on the snake. It's an improvement already, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, got some more. Go for one more dip for good measure. It came out clean, so I'd say we're good. I'm gonna put this back together and run some hot water to flush it out. And hopefully that solves the slow tub issue. And assembly is the opposite of removal.
So it just goes back the same way it came apart. Some of you will have a drain, uh, a plug here, with a lever that allows you to stop the tub from draining. Uh, that will come, that'll slide right up out as you, as you disassemble it, it should slide right up out of the overflow tube. On this overflow device I had Phillips and flathead screws, so that's why I like these adjustable screwdrivers. You can use a Phillips when you need it, a flathead when you need it. They're not the best for industrial use, but for chores around the home, they really can't be beaten. Okay, I'm gonna run some hot water to flush this out a little bit. I put the plug on to flood it. It'll fill it up a little water and we can watch it go down with the tornado. Okay, we got some, about an inch and a half of water there, so I'll pull the plug and wait for the eye of the storm. There it goes. Much faster than it was. There you go, we got this done. Uh, this is, I would say, by far the easiest way to clean a tub drain. So I hope this little tip helps and enjoy your, enjoy cleaning your tub drains. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notifications bell, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one.